Hello! We're here at the Takanda, the old Takanda road again. Well, the road was just running in front of us, but uh, now it's blocked from the lava and uh, at the moment the volcano is not particularly explosive, but there's a lot of sulfur in the air, a lot of uh, gas clouds and uh, the uh, police has instructed us to wear the masks almost all the time. But the good thing is the wind is coming this way, it's blowing the gas into the other direction, so we're kind of okay here. But uh, the sulfur emissions have been very high over the last few days and uh, there was a record of 50,000 tons a day just a few days ago and that means there is magma underneath that's degassing. So, and there is clear visible evidence for that and that is there is now sulfur deposits forming on the surface of the volcano. I haven't seen that before because the volcano was so fresh but now the surface is stale a little bit and uh, where the gas is coming over and uh, this is actually precipitating sulfur from the gas phase. So these uh, sulfurous deposits, they're typical for active stratovolcanoes. I've seen a lot of them in Indonesia, for example, when the volcano is uh, dormant but is degassing, uh, then you get these uh, sulfur deposits and they stay for a while unless there's new eruptions. So this is a very intriguing state of the volcano. It seems to kind of calm down again today, but um, it deposits sulfur. So it says it's got magma loaded in its belly, but it's not erupting it just yet. So yesterday we've seen a big explosion coming out of nowhere. And uh, well, I guess we have to worry that this might happen again.